Let's do this. BYU men's volleyball back to work tonight as the season begins. Welcome back to Studio B with Jerem Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. Joining us now, a dynamic duo from BYU men's volleyball, Capono Brown and Mix Romanus. Welcome to Studio Thanks B, guys. You guys look Thank good. You. To, oh, yeah. On a business trip here? Let's let's talk. It's always business. It's always, <laughs> always business. <laughs> Got to keep it formal today. Pre-game, come on now. Is this a First game of the season? thing or is this just something that you two wanted? For the show. It's a team-wide mindset. Mindset, sure. yes. <laughs> yes. Mindset, yeah, it's something we wanted to... You know, more more literally show. I love it because no one does this. No one comes in like this. It's not volleyball media day. It's the beginning of the season, but I love it. Talk to us, Mix, about this team this year. You lose Heath Hughes, Noah Hain, and Tyler Hergett kind of battle for that starting spot. We'll see if Noah's the guy or Tyler's the guy tonight. You lose Mitchell Worthington to graduation, but all the hitters are back. Yeah. Um, men's basketball has shown us that getting old can mean you take a big leap. You guys took a big leap last year. Yeah. What are you expecting this year with a lot of the same guys? I think it's going to be the same thing, as you said, with, with basketball. I think a leap is coming. I mean, we still have to work our way up to, like, an elite, a more elite level. But with Bernardo coming in and Noah Hergie coming in, like, uh, I think it's going to be a force to reckon with. If we, when we get our stuff together, when we really focus up, it's going to be a force. Bernardo Adam going to play libero now, which yes, will be exciting. Yes, and your head coach, Sean Olmstead, thinks that he is going to be very, very special off the radar right now, but uh, says that, look, he's going to be a fan favorite. What, what is it about him that you think BYU fans will love? You go ahead. Bernardo just has such an energy about him. I mean, we call it a Brazilian energy in the gym. <laughs> but he's not afraid to get in someone's face. Um, he's not afraid to just lay out for ball, and I think that's what's – going to make him super special and stand out to some of the fans. What does that do for you, Capona, when you see him doing that? Me seeing him lay out um, makes me want to lay out for him, too. So, I mean, uh, we kind of say this in the gym, but a rising tide lifts all boats. And seeing Bernardo just lay out, give it, it, all, give it his all, and get in our faces makes me want to do the same thing. So, yeah. Why are you guys off the radar? I would think that you should be more on the radar. I was a little weirded out by number nine in the ABCA poll, which you think, oh, nine. No, no, no. You always got to be like top six is what I'm thinking. And then uh, you were tied for third in the MPSF poll. Were, were you motivated by this in any way? No, I love it. I, 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 same thing as last year. It's like a, last year when we saw our ranking, it was like, all right, these guys don't know what's happening this year. Excuse me. <coughs> it's an emotional thing, man. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but especially this year, I feel like that we, we should have been ranked higher. They should understand what we have. But I think since we lost Heath, he was, a, he was a massive part of the team as well. So I feel like that's why they might underestimate us. But with, again, Nardo, Noah, or Hergie coming in, again, it's going to be dangerous. I feel like we can definitely be the, one of the most dangerous teams in the NCAA. For the record, Coach Olmstead told me he forgot to submit his vote in time. It's a preseason one. Sean! So. <laughs> But maybe that's part of the master plan. <laughs> it could be. So that you come in at number nine. He puts right? you guys at like 20 just to tank it. Oh, no one thinks we can do it, including me. No, oh that's funny. God. Don't tell him I told you that. <laughs> We're not Nobody on national TV knows. or radio. Nobody that's hilarious. Knows. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah, Capone, how do you handle I mean, Mix just talked about it a, a little right. bit. But how do you navigate mentally preseason rankings? I really do not care about what the rankings say. I'd rather us be ranked lower than us be ranked higher for the reason that um, that means we get to have a reasonable chip on our shoulder. And um, going into games um, where you're ranked high, that means you have something to live up to. But right now, ranked number nine, not all that high, means we've got not much to lose. So I think that's really fun. It's a fun position to be in, yeah. UCLA won the national title. Uh, it's been a minute since they won one. Obviously, MPSF representing there. Finally taking off uh, the Big West. Honestly, I'm fine with it. I know UCLA is the rival, but I was like, hey, better MPSF than Big West. What's that race going to be like in the league where obviously it's tough every year? Stanford brings back a lot. GCU brings back a lot. Pepperdine's always good and so on. Well, it's going to be an interesting dynamic for sure. I mean, UCLA was a great team. They got a bunch of guys stacked. Like, uh, the, they have massive depth on their roster when it comes to every position. But um, their starting positions right now are, are amazing players, but I think we have what it takes to kind of topple them. I think they've reached their potential a little bit sooner than ours, but when we reach ours, I think ours will be higher than theirs. So when we get to that level, when we get there this season, I feel like it'll definitely be mm. a force to reckon with when it comes to either Pepperdine, GCU, or um, Stanford, yeah. and Stanford and Pepperdine. Yeah. Yep. 
Where do you feel like this team has taken the biggest strides in progression during offseason training? Is it serving? Is it passing defense overall? Like, where, where do you feel like this team is, is markedly better than you were last year? And both, a question for both of you. We'll, ask, we'll start yeah. with you, Mix. I think it's mainly passing and defense. In years past, BYU hasn't been the best passing team, but we've always had amazing attackers, and that's still the case But um, when it comes to attacking. But definitely on passing, we've kind of found our, our, a, a new system. I'm not really that new, but more committed to the system as players, and it's something easy to follow, and we know what we're doing, and especially with the different things we're going to try out in the game, it's going to be fun to see mm. how well we pass this year. And the same on defense, especially with the Brazilian mentality as <laughs> Bernardo. It's going to be... It's going to be fun. I think we're going to get way more balls up in the libero position. Love Mitch Worthington, one of the best passers in the NCAA, but Bernardo is also an animal yeah. on the court. Capone, what's gone into the improved passing that Mix was just talking about? Um, I think there's a little bit more of a mindset on defense for us to just lay out for every ball. Like we kind of talked about earlier with Bernardo on defense, that kid goes for everything. And I think that's kind of a mindset we've all adopted this year trying to go for everything. So I agree with Mix. I think that's one of, a, one of the strengths we've picked up in the offseason. Um, one of the other strengths we've picked up is kind of working as a team unit and figuring out how to build into each other's strengths and really maximize how we move as a team. So that's one more thing I'd like to add. Capone, this is the most important question. I've saved it for now. Uh, <laughs> what kind of uh, hair product do you use? Because your hair is looking Ooh. incredible. I treat my hair really good. So, <laughs> a lot of conditioner, not too much shampoo. Mm. If it's really dry, which just happens in Utah for some reason. You're a Hawaiian kid. Yep. I know. So, coconut oil works really well. Just leave it in there overnight. Like, like how much? Like a, like a quarter's worth? What are we talking about? Depends yeah. on how dry your hair is. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But like, just a little bit. You okay. just mix it in there, get it all around, leave yeah. it in there overnight, oh, wash okay. it out in the morning. Don't use shampoo, use conditioner. And then, boom. I got to take notes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys' ass. That's really good to know. Steve Bale always calls you Ricky Schroeder. Yeah. Are you aware of the comp? Do you know who yes. Ricky Schroeder is? Have you looked this up? I've actually, oh, my goodness. Uh, well, I think it's a comment you said. But, yes, my mom sent me pictures of him afterwards. I was like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> and then the, the whole thing about the bullet, the, the bowl cut mullet thing, that was hilarious. Too. But, I mean, I can't hold it against you guys. The hair was a little weird during games, so I understand. It's a little more consistent yeah, now, right? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to trim it up a little bit, but it's, I get it. It's totally fine. But, you know. All right, 30-second uh, scouting report on Ball State. Capona, what's it going to be? They've got a pretty young roster, a roster that doesn't have a lot of film on them. But um, they have this gnarly outside coming back. He's super physical. He balled out against BYU last year. Yeah, yeah he did. Um, I think that was his best game last year, not going to lie. But, um, yeah, so we know he's coming back. Uh, we know some of the guys that they have that could be in the game. Uh, they've got three lefty oppos. That's always fun to see. Um, they have a returning middle that's got some experience. Um, but, yeah, it, it'll be good to see how well... We did our scouting report tonight. Yeah. Let's and being go. at home is always awesome. Let's go! Yeah, right, Every right. match at home last year was pretty fun to watch. Yep. Great to have you in Studio B. Some BYU Sports Nation karma tonight for the Ball State match. Yeah, let's have some fun tonight. And for tomorrow night, frankly. This is Both back nights. Back -back Let's matches. go. Thanks, gentlemen. Thanks, boys. Yeah, thanks for having thank us. You.